Now, if I could hit this from up here and it can't hit me, I think that sounds quite nice to me. Unfortunately, it can hit me, and this is actually looking quite troublesome now that you mention it. I almost have my ultimate back up again, but this dungeon is proving to be quite a difficult task. I must declare it. I'm taking this mushroom down very slowly. I don't know what has happened to all my damage, but I appear to be missing it. What I need is a new gem, I think. I think a new gem could work wonders in the hands of myself. It would be very nice, I do believe, at taking down giant dark spore hurler poisonous mushrooms that think even for a second that they can destroy me, because it's not going to happen, because I'm too powerful, I'm too strong, I'm too almighty. You're going down, dark spore hurler. You go- oh, I'm going down. Holy cow, I almost went down. Holy macaroni and holy cheese. I'm in your cloud of poison, my friend. H okay, how come dungeons are so hard for me, dude? I can and eat. I have enough power rank to be here. I just cannot destroy these things fast enough, my friend. It is simply not the case. It is not happening. These spiders must be destroyed. What am I missing? Am I missing attack speed? Am I missing damage? I don't know. And quite frankly, I do care. Yes, indeed, my friend. I do care. Die, spider. Die. I demand it. I demand it, spider. You shall be taken down, and indeed, you have been. Perfect. Now, that was good. That was a large sound. I do believe that I have found a million, billion, trillion different things. 64 Mathematical Health, 30 Lasermancy, and 8% attack speed. I'm going to equip that, because that is a lot of Lasermancy, and I do like to mine things. Mining is fun. It is one of my favorite pastimes, if you will. <laughs> and, and of course you will, my friend. Of course you will. Okay, now, what I also need to do is pick up this item, because it gives me different stats. But let's find out what they are, and it is 10% attack speed. I sacrifice movement speed and jump for it. Is that worth it, though? I'm gonna have to try it, dude. I'm gonna have to try something to be able to clear these dungeons faster than I'm doing right now. And this gives attack speed and it gives damage, so I'm gonna go with it, dude. I only have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 4... I have 13 jumps, okay? Is that enough jumps? Maybe for the simple men, the simple gunslinger, but for me... Heck no, man. I want a hundred jumps. I want a thousand jumps. I want one million jumps, and I will settle for no less. Then again, I am settling for less. Now that you mention it, I do have to settle for less. It is simply the case. All right. I'm not going to do this dungeon. I don't like these dungeons. They are not nice to me. The Dark Heart Dungeon. How about this? The Dark Arts Dungeon. All right. Now we must find a new dungeon. Actually, I believe I could start that off by pressing and holding H, going to the hub world. And then once we are in the hub world, we can fly up to the top of the portal. And then the, ba the plan basically is to get to back to where we were and then press and hold E or press E at this sword. I don't know the name of it, but it it put me back where I was. Why would you do that, matey? I wanted to get back to the where I entered so that I could use the sword to teleport to somebody so that they could help me do these dungeons that I'm failing to do on my own. Gosh dang it. Oh well. Things happen, I suppose. Is this dungeon complete? Is it even a dungeon? I suppose time itself will tell, my friend. There is no red X, so I do think I could do it. The Viking Bone Yarl? Gosh, dang it. Alright, hopefully he can't hit me from all the way up here, though. If he can, we're gonna have a problem. Because every time that something happens, you know, something- Oh, gee williker, he teleported me onto his noggin. That was not a nice thing to do, my friend. I'm in a bit of a predicament of a situation now. All right, things are looking good now though, except not anymore, not anymore because I am kept being pulled down toward him. I have three flask charges left, but will I use them? Only time itself would tell my friend that time itself has indeed told that I will have to use them probably. It just depends how often he pulls me down to him so that he tries to destroy me, you know? I'm gonna use one now just to be safe, just to make sure that if he pulls me down again and I don't have time to react, I will still live. Like that. Yes, indeed, matey. It was unexpected, but at the same time, it was absolutely 100% expected. You know? Unexpected versus expected. You know, his the fire doesn't hurt him, though. How's that anything... How's that fair at all, dude? Even remotely for one second. I'll tell you how. Because it's not. All right, the Carmine Crayon. Very good. I do respect it. Though it will go to the loot collector. The Madness Mask, get out of here. I don't respect you, my friend. Now, to the start of the dungeon. No, 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 no. Don't be redinky donkey, as they say. There is another dungeon this way. I do believe that it is time to fly toward it. Now, if I can get there without running out of jumps, we should be good to go. These wings are saving me a lot of trouble. I must declare it. Is that the dungeon below me right there? I do believe it is. I don't want to do that dungeon because I do not have three Trovians. Maybe I can keep flying. And find the next one. Here's one up in the... To the north... 
west. Yes, I know directions. Don't don't think for a second that I don't know directions. That would be an unwise thought, but an accurate one nonetheless. Now, I do see some ore in front of me. I might try to mine that as well with my new and improved 30 laser mancy. And there is a new brown block here. I don't know what that is, but I do suspect that I would like to find out. So let me destroy whatever the skeleton may be, because it's causing a bit of trouble, to be quite honest. I'm trying to mine this stuff, dude, and he's trying to be like, oh, I'm a skeleton. Ooh, kill me. I'm a skeleton. Yeah, dang it. Oh, I need to find a cornerstone because I'm out of flash charges. I have two left, and there's no way I'm going to get through the next dungeon without it. Okay, here we go. And what oosh? What is this, I wonder? It is a standard block recipe. Very interesting. And when I say very interesting, I mean what does it do? Where did it come from? Whence did it came? And why is it here? It is a standard block recipe, but at the same time, it is not so standard. Now is it, my friend? Now is it, my friend? Probably not, but at the same time, probably. You know, a lot of things happen at the same time. Every now and then, something will happen, and then, uh oh, SpaghettiO, another thing happened. Oh no! This dungeon is a, is a myth as well. Oh, new dungeons? Behind me? What? I don't understand, but maybe I can go this way and figure out all what I need to know. I'm not gonna go down there. That is a place to not live. And not living sounds like a grave error, as they say. Now, I do believe that I will go... Is that a Trovian? That looks like a Trovian dungeon, so this is not the place to be- Oh, I need to go this way. Yes, of course. There's a dungeon over there. Do you think I can make it if I fly? I think from this high point, I might just be able to. I have enough jumps. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and the flight begins! However, I don't know how to complete this dungeon. I don't even think it's a dungeon, that's right, it's just a- Whoa! Now we're talking! Holy macaroni! This is amazing! This is amazing! I love this. I didn't know that would happen, so it's very cool to see it in blinding medium definition. Alright, how high can I go above it and it'll launch me even further? Holy macaroni. Oh my goodness, this flight's gonna last one trillion years. I'm going over to this dungeon over here, and then there's a dungeon over there that I might go to after. I do like dungeons, they are fun to complete. And in Didio, I shall be completing one trillion of them in due time, my friend. In due time, the Highlands slay the Golden Scarab. Don't mind if I do. There's even a cornerstone down here, so I think I will nosedive on top of it and collect this gold ore in the meantime. Because gold ore is a cool thing, dude, you know? It's gold for a reason. And that reason is that they, the, the developers colored it gold. And, and, the natural progression of ore in Trove means that through natural selection and Darwin, Charles himself, and a variety of other things, the evolution of the ore within the game of Trove itself has meant to be gold at this very point, in this very part of the game. So, we have found the exact ore that we needed to find for some reason. I don't know why we needed it, but we did need it, Infinium. We've needed Infinium ore for an infinite amount of reasons, I do suppose. And the other- oh, that's right! What I want to do is learn how to craft a bomb. Because I think mining with bombs is quite fun, and it is quite quick, as they say. Two keywords in a row, indeed. Mm-hmm, <laughs> quite and quick. Okay, there's some ore up there. They are making a tower. I might have to go explore what that ore is doing, but at the same time, maybe not. You know, you never know these days. It's quite a beautiful world out there. In the big blue sea, as they say, and clearly they do say whatever it is that they say. Anyway, that being said, I'm going to keep on that, keep on holding on to that because I think it might be valuable, even though I cannot use it. Now, what I do need to do here is kill the golden scarab. If, if I can manage that, then we should be good to go, and if I can't manage it, then we should be bad to go- Oh, wait, what is this? A golden soul, you don't say, my friend. I will destroy you, golden soul. Don't think for a second that I won't. But your protective blue ore, the former sight ore, I'm also going to destroy that, so just give me a minute here. Golden soul in my inventorio, as they say. Is it even- Yes, it is! Indeed, it was called a golden soul. Oh my goodness, learning is fun. I am not a robot. I am a human, and I have learned something in Trove. Okay, that will never happen again until the next time uh, that it does. Yeah, now we're talking. All right, got to bypass all these bees because I they're not the bees' knees. They are the bees' fails. The bees' fails. All right, is this honey on the rooftop? Standing on the rooftop is the honey master bee. He tries to talk to me, but then I slay him. I will destroy you, honeybee. The golden scarab come for me because it wants to, I guess. I don't know. 
it does a thing every day, but then the Golden Scarab say to me that it was something, 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 something,